We've been studying the weather every day as we prepare for our Atlantic crossing from Newport, Rhode Island to Kinzel, Ireland. We use a variety of data sources, including NOAA surface and 500 millibar charts. The sources we rely most heavily on are GRIB data from models such as NOAA GFS and WaveWatch 3. This video shows a visualization of our intended route using WaveWatch 3 GRIB data in our chart plotter Time Zero. Time Zero plays the weather file forward and runs the boat on the route with a given departure date and speed, showing the date along the bottom. The color shading is wave height shown in the bar at the lower left ranging from 0 feet in blue to 35 feet in red. The dark blue arrows show wave direction and height and the wind barbs show wind speed and direction. This example from May 1st shows a large system deepening in the Atlantic on May 2nd and 3rd. Where our route crosses that system, the waves are 25 feet on 11 seconds definitely something we want to avoid. In addition, two systems are expected to move along the U.S. eastern seaboard, one on May 2nd and the other on May 6th, so this week is not a great time for a departure. In testing departure scenarios, we set the trip to start on May 8th. You can see the blue boat icon moving from Newport on that date. The worst conditions we'd see on the first third of the trip until we near the iceberg boundary shown in turquoise is 6 feet on 6 seconds. We'd see 9 feet on 9 seconds as we pass south of the iceberg limit and 12 feet on 8 seconds as we turn northeast, also conditions we want to avoid. This is two weeks from now and the weather models are not very accurate that far out, so we need to keep an eye on it to see if May 8th or possibly the 9th is indeed a good day to depart.